In 2012, 12-year-old Rory fell and cut himself in gym class. Four days later, he was dead. Similarly, the day before Christmas last year, 21-year-old Kyler felt like he was coming down with the flu. Within 24 hours, he also died. A staggering 300,000 people die from sepsis each year. That's more than from prostate cancer, breast cancer, and AIDS combined. With an up to 70% mortality rate, sepsis is the leading cause of death in the U.S. Currently, there are no treatments for sepsis. But what is sepsis? Sepsis is a, the body's extreme reaction to a bacterial infection that has entered the bloodstream. Our blood vessels are lined by specific cells that act as gatekeepers for the movement of fluids and nutrients from the bloodstream into the underlying tissue. In sepsis, these cells dysfunction, leading to vascular leakage, tissue swelling, multiple organ failure, and eventually death. There have been many attempts to target vascular leakage in developing sepsis-specific therapy. However, each one of them have failed in clinical trials. There are two main reasons for this. One, we still don't know how vascular leakage is controlled, and two, most of the experiments that have been done trying to identify compounds that might block vascular leakage have been missing one crucial factor, the presence of blood flow. You see, the inner lining of our blood vessels is constantly exposed to blood flow, and it's actually been shown that this blood flow itself controls how these cells act. So my work incorporates both of these two factors. My project focuses on determining how vascular leakage is controlled in the presence of blood flow. In the lab, I grow small artificial blood vessels on little microchips that are able to detect small changes in vascular leakage. I then treat these vessels with blood serum from patients that actually have sepsis. After thousands of permeability experiments and late nights in the lab, I found that that sepsis serum actually did induce vascular leakage in my model system. But more importantly, we found a way to stop it. We found a small protein that acts as a regulatory switch between a healthy vessel and an unhealthy leaky vessel. This protein, when activated, could block leakage. I'm really excited about my work as we found a way to block sepsis-induced leakage. I'm now focusing on moving my project into preclinical models to develop sepsis-specific therapies. In fact, our protein might actually be, actually be a great target for other diseases that are affected by vascular leakage, such as atherosclerosis, diabetes, and even cancer. This treatment might, might be very exciting for Hawaii, as 10% of cancer patients die from sepsis each year, with native wines being particularly susceptible. I'm hoping that with my contribution, we can go with the flow and stop sepsis.